A little girl's sense of security is lost. She was hit by a stray bullet inside her home in Hampton. Eight-year-old Lachey Tolliver is in stable condition now at CHKD. Police say the bullet came right through the wall of her house on Augusta Street. Then on your side's Ann McNamara is live at that location tonight right outside the home. Ann? Come with me right this way. Let me show you where the bullet hit the house right there. And on the other side of this wall, that's where the little girl's father says she was sitting with her cousins waiting for mom to serve dinner. She was sitting right here eating her dinner. Eight-year-old Lachey Tolliver never got the chance to pick up her fork. The bullet come through this hole right here. You can see the, the way the angle, it, it came just like this and it hit her right in her mouth and it went out the back of her neck. Police say the bullet was stray gunfire. Lachey's father, Jeffrey Stokes, showed us that same hole, this time from the other side of the wall, the wall that may have saved his daughter's life. See, God saved her. God kept her. Because for a young eight-year-old to get hit with a caliber bullet like that, she is not supposed to be here today. Stokes didn't have the chance to see his daughter before she was taken to the hospital. He was with a friend down the street. He says Lachey was home with her mother and her younger cousins, who both saw the bullet hit her face. Stokes only wishes he could have been there, too. I'd rather have caught the bullet than her. I wish it had been me than my little girl. That's my baby. That's, that's my youngest child. Police spent the day canvassing the neighborhood for clues and answers. They went door to door, handing out flyers, urging anyone with information to come forward. Are you man enough to pull that trigger? Be man enough to own up to it. Stokes was able to visit his daughter today at the hospital. He tells me she couldn't talk because of all the medicine and also because she's on a breathing tube, but he said she definitely recognized him, and doctors assured him and then reassured him she's going to be okay. Live in Hampton, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.